All right, look at that. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Pokemon Clover. Uh, I only leveled up my Pokemon to level 10 because there's not really a good place to level them around here. Most of the Pokemon are level 2 or 3 still on the, uh, the route back there. So I'm going to uh, take care of this rocket boss and uh, hopefully... Hopefully, it's going to go a little better than the last time. Um, Douglas learned Sand Attack, which I got rid of, uh, Growl, to replace that. So hopefully, he'll help with the accuracy drops. Uh, Decker learned Rock Throw, as you know. Kim learned Howl, which I replaced Growl with, so we should be able to boost the attack of Kim. And Keck learned nothing, of course. <laughs> um, level 10. Let's see how it goes. I should be uh, in a little better shape than last time. I don't know if that extra level is going to help, but fingers crossed is what I'll say. I'll start off with Douglas, just because uh, I know his first Pokemon's not going to be able to do much. It's time for you to disappear! Yep, that's that's what happened last time. I disappeared. I should just go behind his grab back and grab the, the Linux module. Admin Leon wants to battle. Sends out Spanky. Oh boy, here we go. Fighting in grass type. So, uh, let's go with the tackles for now. Tickle Tackle. Karate Chop has a high crit rate, and even without the crit, it's doing some massive damage. So that's not going to be good for Douglas. Oh my goodness, he's almost gone already. Alright. Gremlin, you gotta come in here, you gotta do some shit. Save us. Save us from ourselves! Douglas is basically out of the battle already, which sucks. Uh, hopefully this acid is going to be enough to take him down. Not quite. That spanky is going to spank me. Oh god, no crit, no crit. Okay, it's not very effective. Everything's going fine. Everything's going awesome, and uh, most of the, the team karma or bad people don't use items on their Pokemon, so I don't have to expect a, a heal or anything. I think maybe the admins do, though. Hmm, I could be wrong. He's gonna use his dragon now, which is gonna be fucking horrifying. Uh, Rock Throw is not gonna do much against it, I don't think, because it is, uh... It's fire type, which is weak against rock, but it's also metal type, which resists rock. So I'm gonna stick with the mud slapping, and hopefully we can get this thing's accuracy low enough that it will uh, get completely fucked and not be able to do nothing. That twister hurts so bad though, oh my god. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be able to live through two of them, so hopefully that'll be enough. Uh, yeah, I guess that extra level did help me just a little bit. He misses that twister, which is really, really nice. I'm gonna be able to do it, I feel it in my bones. We're not gonna lose to this dude twice. And my wife is also here, she's eating chips behind me, so you might, you might hear that just a little bit. Um, <laughs> but yeah. You don't want to lose a Pokemon battle in front of your girlfriend. If you lose a Pokemon battle in front of your significant other, just hang up your dick. It's over. She, she ain't gonna want none of that no more. <laughs> Anyways, the accuracy drops seem to be working really well. Uh, he is gonna hit me with that, what, fourth twister? Fifth twister? But I'm gonna be able to live through that and boom. Finish it off. Holy fuck. That was uh, quite a tough little thing. But we, we managed. Decker, again, uh, pulling ahead of all my other Pokemon as far as levels. But that's just fine. He'll probably be useful in the battle against Brock as well. <laughs> oh. That's right. Give me your money. 384. I wonder if he still has the 72 he won from me in the last episode. Anyways. Aha. Aha. Okay. Bail, 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 bail. All right, see you guys later, bye. Thanks for saving us, kid. Gentleman would be proud of a valiant defender of open source software. Feel free to stay here in the museum for as long as you'd like, free of charge. Uh, thanks so much. Now, as I was saying before, I got rudely interrupted. Linux is not an operating system unto itself, but rather another free component of a fully functioning new system made useful by the new core libs, shell utilities, and vital system components comprising a full OS as defined by POSIX. Many computer users run a modified version of the new system every day without realizing it, 
Through a peculiar turn of events, the version of GNU which is widely used today is often called Linux, and many of its users are not aware that it is basically a new system developed by the GNU project. There's, there really is a Linux, and these people are using it, but it's just part of the system that they use. Linux is the kernel, the program in the system that allocates the machine's resources to the other programs that you run. The kernel's an essential part of any operating system, but useless by itself. It can only function in the context of a complete operating system. Linux is normally used in the combination with the new operating system. Okay, great. I want to go now. Um, that was quite a bit of exposition. I hope that you learned something. I probably would have learned something if I understood anything he was saying. But he's a scientist, so he's a bit over my head. Thanks a bunch, kid! Take this great ball! Hell yeah, great ball! It makes me wonder, why would Team Karma want to steal something that's open source? <laughs> that's true. Open source frost software, free as hell. Go download GIMP if you want o open source image uh, editing. OBS, open broadcast software, is what I use to record most of my videos. Audacity is open source again, free audio recording software. So yeah, you don't need to steal any of these things. You just uh, go download some open source software and it's free, uh, made by the generous people that made it. <laughs> what a redundant statement. This is a weird looking Linux. I don't think my character knows what a Linux is either. This book, this shelf's crammed full of Pokemon books. This shelf is crammed full of Pokemon books too. What the fuck is all this stuff? All right. There's some arrows telling me to go this way, so I guess I will. I want to see the museum. Hello, old man. Are you part of the museum? Are you an exhibit? It's a really weird looking exhibit. I should be grateful to you. Grateful for my long life. <laughs> grateful to me for your long life. That's right. Never did I think I'd get to see the bones of a toxic raptor. What are you talking about? Toxiraptor fossil, a primitive and rare Pokemon. Ooh, I want to see a live Toxiraptor. Tresillion fossil, a primitive and rare Pokemon. These are probably the, the fossils that we'll get to pick from in Mount Moot, which means I'll have to wait quite a long time to uh, actually revive them, but that's okay. It's a replica of a space shuttle. Just a replica, though. You couldn't even fit inside that shit. Look at how big that thing is. That could fit maybe like the bottom half. Maybe if I lay down inside the space shuttle. That'd be nice. And then you can hibernate on your trip to Mars. Hi, little girl. Rocket, rocket, rocket. I want to ride the rocket. Ah, uh, they grow up way too fast. Yeah, they do, don't they? I don't use new, just to look smart, I swear. It's clearly superior to Microsoft's Windows, th those spying Jews. <laughs> That's right, fucking Jews. Mount Moot's named after a guy who passed away in 2015. There's a memorial at the top, be sure to pay respects. Did Moot really die? That can't be true, what the fuck? Maybe, maybe he died uh, as far as 4chan is concerned. That would make sense. 6th of July, 2006, the first closing of the pool. <laughs> I was part of the raiding team on B. Oh, kid, those glorious old times. Ain't that the truth? Thanks for being around, old fag. <laughs> Pool's closed. A meteorite that fell on Mount Moot, it's thought to be a moonstone. Ooh, we could get some moonstone Pokemans. I'm gonna run in the museum. No running in the museum. Fuck you. I do what I want. I do what I want. Can't you see? I'm living my own life. You're not in charge of me anymore, Daddy. I'm I'm on my own now. I'm working at Burger King and making my own money. Actually, I'm catching Pokemon, but it's basically the same thing. You beat up other kids and take their money. Or not take their money. That's not consent. <laughs> you need to have consent before a Pokemon battle. Simply getting eye contact is not consent. Everybody remember this. Oh, this game's so fucking hilarious. Um, I guess I'll lead off with Douglas. That's a, a good thing. Then he can catch up to Decker. Whoa, and I got teleported up. What the fuck? We're having a battle on an asteroid? What's up, bra? Bra? Brock? So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Gadex, gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident, even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all. Rock hard, giggity, and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. <laughs> you're gonna challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best, faggot. <laughs> okay, homo. Let's rock. 
rock hard. Um, is it playing Sandstorm right now? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Copyright strike incoming. That's okay. Totally worth it. Uh, I have a land chill. I'm pretty sure it's rock type, so we'll bind with that shit. Boom. Super effective. Just like it was back in uh, that other town that I can't remember the name of. See, that's the trouble when you have, like, all this new shit in the game, a fan-made game, is that, uh, it's hard to remember anything. <laughs> I can't even remember the names of most of my Pokémon. I remember Grasshole just because it's, like, halfway clever. Ooh, and Brock uses a potion on his land shill. That thing is defense curling, so my Vine Whip is not doing too much. But I think we'll be able to, uh, to get it down. It doesn't seem to be coming at me with any attacks, so just keep trying to smack it. Smack him with a vine whip! Vine whip that shit! Hell yeah! Oh, here comes the magnitude. Only magnitude 6, and I am grass type, so I should be able to handle that. Yeah, hardly any damage at all. No problem! Down he goes! Oh no. He has a sliver. Magnitude 6 again. That's just fine. Come at me, brah. What you wanna do, kid? My rock hard determination will overcome your uh, other rock hard thing that you were talking about. I don't want to repeat it. <laughs> it brings me bad memories. Alright, Douglas screwed to level 11. Yeah, he's definitely tanky. Look at that defense and special defense just boosting through the roof. Uh, I mean, we'll be able to see it better when he's at like level 20. But for now, uh, he's got a ball, ballicle. I think that's the rock and ice thing. Does it have any ice attacks? Hmm. I'm not sure. I wish I had a fighting Pokemon. Then I could really fuck that thing up. But for now, I think uh, Douglas is probably the best choice to go against it. Unless it shows off an ice attack. Oh my god, that's not the thing I thought it was at all. What the fuck is that? It's uh, a play off of basketball and barnacle, I can tell. Ballicle. Well, level 12, but hopefully we'll be able to handle this thing. Vine Whip. Yeah, even with the defense curl, even with the level difference, we're doing some pretty good damage against it. I fear what his last Pokemon might be, though. Uh, usually the toughest one of all. Just keep defense curling. You don't need to try and hit me or anything. I'll just keep whipping you in the face. <laughs> and it's so hilarious that Sandstorm is the song for this gym. <sighs> what the fuck is anything, dude? I hope that all the, the gym songs are like related to the gym. You know what I mean? I don't know if I'd be able to identify the song. So if we get to a new gym and I don't call out the song, you can call me out for not calling out the song. Ooh, and there's a crit with the Vine Whip. Bollicle's down. Not a baller at all. And Douglas is leveled up to level 12, so that's pretty fucking sweet. We're catching up. Catching up nice. And then he has a Chompest, which I don't know what that thing is. Um... I'm gonna let Kim come in here. Maybe we could put it to sleep with Sing. And then uh, I'll decide what to switch into once I see what it looks like. Oh, it looks like a treasure chest. So maybe it's wood? Is that like plant type as well? Hmm, it's hard to tell. He knows bite. And that's quite a bite. Because it is level 14. Fuck. This is gonna give me some trouble, I do think. Um... Let's try Kek. I think Bite is a dark move, so since Kek is a dark type, you would be able to resist that. Uh, try a Tackle, maybe? Ooh, he's got the Rock Tomb. That's right, he definitely has a Rock Typing on him. Fuck. My team is gonna get wiped off the map. We are we are losing way too much in this game. Um, Gremlin maybe do, would be able to do something. Pecker is gonna get taken down by Rock Tomb. Let's try Decker. Pecker and Decker, friends for life. I'm gonna go ahead and try the uh, the mud slaps, and he's got protect, which is just fine. Something that I would expect a mimic chest to have. That's that's okay. He's got the double protect. God damn, wasting my uh, mud slap PP. I don't think I have that many of them. Yeah, I've only got ten, and I've used two. Here comes the body slam. Should be able to weather that. Yeah, even for a not very effective move, it hurts pretty bad. I don't know if he has another potion. If Brock has another potion, this will be an extremely hard fight. Oh god, and the crit with the bite. 
This is this is going terribly. Um, I'll send in Pecker, but just to use another sand attack and try and drop this thing's accuracy because I don't know what else to do. I'm pretty sure we're going to get taken down. Luckily, we do avoid the Rock Tomb that time around, but I don't know how long my luck is going to hold. He's only got two accuracy drops. I dodged the third Rock Tomb. Oh, that's, that's so good. Okay. So, I'm feeling a little more hopeful. Oh, no. There's the Rock Tomb. Dead. Sorry, Pecker. It, it happens like that sometimes. Um, maybe Gremlin can do something against this thing. We've hardly damaged it at all. This is really fucked up. Uh, perhaps a smog. Would you like a little smog? I'd like to poison this thing. That would be really great if that could just happen right now. Um, a critical hit. It's not very effective. But it is poisoned now, which is fantastic. Exactly what I wanted. I don't know how well my, uh... Douglas is going to weather a hit from this thing. So I'm going to stay in and use metronome. Probably get fainted by a bite. No, we're, we're okay. And flash. Ooh, drops the accuracy even further. Hell yeah. So basically with all the accuracy drops and the poison on him, he's just going to rot away. I'll take this chance to use fresh water. Oh no, that heals by 50 HP. We don't need that much yet. I'll heal up with my potion, recover 20 points of HP, he's gonna miss his bite. Wonderfully done. Just let him rot away. I really hope that Brock doesn't have another potion though, because that could be nasty. There's another bite. Ooh, it hurts. It hurts, but I lived because potions. Here's Bug Buzz, not gonna be very effective. Oh, super effective. Is it rock and dark? Hmm, that would make sense, I guess. And this thing has a, a citrus berry on it, but it's not going to last for too much longer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save Gremlin, because I don't want to waste all of my potions in this fight. You don't get so much money in this game. You gotta make it last, you know? So he misses his bite again, that potion doing a number. I think I'll be able to finish this with a vine whip, but bam Suck it, Brock! Faggot! <laughs> All right, look at that. A little more XP for all my dudes. Well, the ones that aren't dead, which is two of them. I took you for granted, so I lost. Heh, <laughs> granted, granted. I get it, because you're a rock type, and granted is also a... Never mind. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this. The official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. All right, so I guess the badges are the same. So I guess I could have done a layout for this, uh, this series, but that's okay. It's all right. Hindsight's 2020. <laughs> Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables the use of the move Flash outside of battle. I use Flash in this battle through Metrodome. Of course, a Pokemon must know the move Flash in order to use it. And I got a shit ton of money for winning, which is really nice. Wait, take this with you too. TM39. Bide. Technical Machine contains a technique for Pokemon. Using a TM teaches the move it contains to a Pokemon. TM39 contains Rock Tomb. Yes, much better than Bide. I was thinking about, like, original fucking Gen 1. But luckily, uh... Yeah, I think I think they changed it in Gen 2, something like that. They could have changed it again for the, the fan-made fan -made game, but, uh... Yeah, Rock Tomb makes sense, I guess. Hurls boulders at the fall, lowers its speed. Alright, cool. Sounds good, man. See you later. I forgive you for calling me a faggot. I won! Hey guy, I won! Great, I knew we could do it. We could do it. Are your Pokemon all fucking fucked up and fainted and shit? Or are mine? Because I'm pretty sure it's mine. Damn it. The hell? We can do it. Come on, let's get to it. I know that we can do it! Alright, so we can uh, head towards Mount Moot, I do suppose. I hope to see you again! Well, that's not very nice. We hope to see you again at the hospital. Fuck you too! <laughs> Alright, so that guy's gone. The, guy, the museum guy. Trainer tips! If you're having trouble with gym leaders or other tough opponents, you should EV train your Pokémon. Look it up on the internet, it's actually not that hard. Dayton Does Gaming has a tutorial on that if you want to check it out. 
Just Google Dayton does EV training. Maybe Pokemon as well. But you'll find it. It's a three-part series. Part one covers EV training. You're welcome in advance. <laughs> hey, trainer, what you doing? Eek, did you touch me? No. Disgusting. I don't even know you. Who are you? I'm Last Janus. Do you want a battle? Yeah, okay. That sounds like consent. Trowbait. Definitely a uh, water-type Pokemon. I'm going to leave Kim in here, though. We'll go ahead and howl just a little bit. Get that attack up. It's going to tackle, which is just fine. Should be able to weather that nicely. And slam. Come on and slam. And welcome to the jam. Here's your chance. Do your dance at the Space Jam. All right. All right. And uh, we lost half of our HP. I didn't expect that thing to uh, be very, very mean. But uh, it was stronger than it looked. I will say that. P. Cotton is out next. I will not change Pokemon because I've already uh, gotten the Howl up on Kim. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, fuck this thing up. It is faster though. It hits me with the Thundershock. Ooh, one HP left. Okay, never mind. I am going to switch. <laughs> That's not good at all. Uh, Pecker's a bad switch. Douglas would be a good switch, but I will go into Gremlin. Just because I think... Uh, I think we could get some poison, maybe? I think Gremlin has a pretty good special defense, too. Well, not really. We can take three of those Thundershocks, but, um... Let's try the Acid. Let's see what it do. Fairy Wind. That's a move I don't know. Luckily, it is Fairy-type, so it's not going to be very effective against my Poison-type Gremlin. Electric and... I thought it was Electric and Grass. Maybe it's Electric and Fairy. Well, that's fine. It's going to shoot another Fairy Wind at me. And I'll take that chance to use some acid. Boom! Now I'm tripping balls for 12 hours. Can't do anything because I'm on LSD. <laughs> Alright. Level 11. Everything is as it should be. I really want to find some grass. Catch some new Pokemons. Yes, you touched me. Bitch, no I didn't. How many times you got I gotta say that? I'm gonna call the police. I'm gonna call Tumblerita. I'm gonna call my mom. Tumblerita. <laughs> Is that like a Tumblr based character? Oh god. I'm terrified. She's gonna tell me to check my privilege. And what am I gonna do then, huh? Tell her to go fuck herself? Probably. <laughs> check your privilege. Get fucked. <laughs> Eat ass. <laughs> oh, what do we find over here? Hey, it's that donkey pee thing that I was having such a hard time with. Well, maybe we catch one. Maybe we catch one. Maybe it's pretty good. Oh, it knows Peck now. Where did it learn Peck? It didn't know Peck before? What the fuck? There. That's what you get for surprising me. Death! Death and dying! Well, let's uh, go battle this bug catcher fella. I got a bug too. What's up, man? Prepare to feel the sting of my Pokemans! Uh, okay. <laughs> I got Keck Roach. That's a bug. You wanna trade? He's got Proboskito. Oh, he's got a Mosquito against my Cockroach. Battle to the death! Battle to the death! It knows Leech Life. I think that's a Bug-type attack. And what the fuck? Oh, because I'm Dark-type. Wow. I got wrecked. Battle to the death indeed. Well, we'll switch into Pecker. I can use uh, some Flying-type moves. Knock this thing off its perch. Or whatever. I don't know. What do mosquitoes do when they when they land? They perch, right? <laughs> or just I, I think Pecker's the one that perches. Or maybe he doesn't because he's just a piece of fried chicken. I'm not sure. I'm not a Oh god, it knows Thundershock. I'm not a chicken scientist. What do I have that will resist bug and lightning? Not a whole lot. Hmm. Kim is uh not looking too good. I am gonna send it out but only so I can switch right into Decker and uh, hopefully get some rock throws going on this thing. It's level 12, which is a lot higher than I expected it to be. I'll have to take a, another timeout to level my Pokemon up. Um, yeah, the, the curve in this game is pretty fucking steep as far as the levels go. 
You get out of the forest and level 7 was good enough? Well, guess what? Now you need level 12. It's like, god damn. The gym leader had a level 14 Pokemon. It is, it is hard out here. It's hard out here for a trainer. Kim grew. Good job. Exactly what I wanted. Bugcatcher Colton defeated. Ow! <laughs> you got fucked up, right? I think I got bit by a curry crawl. Well, is that the thing that uh, transforms into Gutsy Gutsicoon? Is that what it's called? Because that's what I want. I need one of those. I need one of dams. Hmm, should we do one more battle? We'll do one more battle, and then we'll call it. I'll go back to the Pokemon Center, and we'll call it. My squirrel rap ain't worth crap. Ooh, dude, sick rhymes. What a flow. What the fuck? <laughs> My name is Joe. No, it's Ben. That's right. Hello, Ben. Nice to meet you. Here's my friend, Black and Decker. He's a, a drill Pokemon. And he's gonna drill your ass, just like so. Wamp. Wamp. He got the growl on me, which sucks. Because that's gonna drop my attack. Ooh, the sing would suck even worse. Yes, please keep missing that. That would be wonderful. And he gave up on the sing and went for tackle. Exactly. That's what you gotta do, guy. Squirrel Rap is, is a pretty cool Pokemon. He's kind of frail, but uh, he hits okay. Especially if you get it all howling and stuff like that. Oh, and he's got a Mei Mei. He's got a dank Mei Mei. Everybody watch out. Uh, I'm gonna switch into Kim again. Just because I think uh, I want to, I want to see this thing evolve. What does it become when it evolves? I have no idea. Uh, back into Decker. That'll do just fine. As I said, Rock Pokemon always going to be one step ahead. Oh, used Assist and used Tackle. That's kind of useless, isn't it? I'm tempted to use some metronomes on things, but um, eh, what for? What for? Everything's going great so far. I, and I think the uh, special attack of uh, this Pokemon kind of sucks, as it does for most rock Pokemans. Hmm, Dank Mewe, is that a, a troll face or a forever alone face on its arm? <laughs> and that's a weird place to have it, too. You could have put it on its face, like a normal fucking face. <laughs> Another redundant statement. You're very welcome. And we missed. Damn, this thing doesn't even have accuracy dropping moves. I don't know what's happening. Come on, bro. Hit it. Hit it and quit it. We're done. Get out of here, kid. Kim got a little more XP. Wonderfully done. See what I mean? I mean, if you don't like it, you don't like it. You should switch it out for something else, bro. That's all I'm saying. I'm pretty sure my score wrap is the bottom percentage of all score wraps. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. And I'm sorry that your Pokemon have to endure your negative comments. You know, he's probably trying his best for you, but you're just going to be a dick about it. That's not very nice. Hey, dude, that's not very nice. Your Pokemon, like, probably appreciates you or something. But probably not, because it's a, a piece of coding inside a video game. Oh, uh, I want to go do one more battle. I want to fight my way down that route just a little more. And we can get to Mount Moot. Oh god, it's gonna be so glorious! I can't wait to see what is inside! And it seems the the puzzles in this game, or rather the uh, the trails and things like that, are a little more... a little more in-depth. I wasn't able to get through the... Oh my god, that thing is so cute! I want to catch it! Please do not kill it, I want to catch it! And it's dead. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyways, I wasn't able to get through the forest uh, if I took the wrong path. Everything in the original game kind of looped around, and it was fine no matter which way you went. But here, it doesn't seem to be the case. So, I guess I guess it's okay. Makes the uh, difficulty a little bit steeper, which I do appreciate. Ya no? Ya no? There's another one of those things. It's level 7 this time, so maybe it can survive a horn attack. Oh, but I switched to uh, Kek. I put Keck in the front, so go ahead, tackle that thing a couple times. Oh, not the leech life. Not the leech life! No! <laughs> oh god, that's terrifying. One of my Pokemon almost taken down already. I, I don't know what type this is. 
Looks like a fairy, but it's using bug type moves. Growl is going to be helpful in catching it, and I definitely want one. I don't know if I'll ever end up using it, but I want it! It uses charm, that's fine as well. I could probably hit it one more time with those uh, double attack drops, but I'm not going to bother. Let's just go Pokeball. Go Pokeball! I'll save my Great Ball for something great, which I don't know what great Pokemon are in this game. All of these Pokemon are new to me. I, I don't know what's happening, if you want me to be quite honest. Alright, a little bit of XP for catching things. That's nice. Grassland Pokemon, Pixie Fox Pokemon. These Pokemon are said to provoke optimistic behavior in others. It's a very popular among women. Yes, and Dayton does. He's so adorable. I'll just give him a simple name. You know, he's a Pixie Fox Pokemon. We call him Foxy. With an extra X, because that's cool. Alright, I'll check him out when we get back to a Pokemon Center. This battle, this battle's gonna be the last battle. Promise. Swear. Totally. This time for reals. <laughs> My friend told me to catch every stage of Curry Crawl, so I did. Oh, uh, congratulations, I guess. That's wonderful for you. And he has three of them, so I guess it is gonna be all three stages. Then we can find out for sure if this thing, uh... Evolves into Guts... Gutsicoon? That's the thing everybody keeps telling me about. The thing everybody keeps talking about! And this thing knows Stun Spore, which is a bit surprising to me. Uh, let's bring out Pecker. I'll bring out my Pecker! <laughs> and, uh, smash all the bugs. Smash all the ants. You ever smash ants with your Pecker? It's not as fun as it sounds, because ants bite back. <laughs> Another life tip from your friend Dayton Does. Another public service announcement. Dude, Stun Spore again? They had to have done some, some work on the AI. Or something like that. I mean, when I was training my Pokemon, uh, they kept using Growl. The enemy kept using Growl against uh, Pokemon with Soundproof. That being Kim. So, maybe it's only wild Pokemon that are still dumb? <laughs> I'm not sure. That's quite a mystery to me, but here comes the Gutsicoon. It is the second stage, so I should probably level up this one that I have, and then I can trade it to that guy. That would be a pretty cool idea, huh? But I do want to get it to the third stage as well, which would mean catching another one of these fucking things. And honestly, I don't have the money, to be, to be quite frank. Uh, actually, I do have a bit of money because I won the gym battle, but I don't have money to spare. I don't have money to just throw around Pokeballs willy-nilly, give them to whoever the fuck wants one. That don't make no sense. I'm, I'm not UNICEF, okay? Do they have UNICEF in this world? I don't know. There's a gutsy fly. I guess I'll leave Pecker in here. Or maybe I'll go, I'll go into Kek so he can get a little bit of this delicious EXP as well. Seems like a good idea. We'll find out. Look at how fucking retarded that thing looks. That is, that is terrible. <laughs> uh, some of the fan-made Pokemon I, I like, but some of them are just real losers. <laughs> Absolutely awful. Here comes a gust. That's fine. We're gonna weather that. Get the pet going. Um, mm, we might win out. I think we are gonna win out here. We're whittling him away. Oh, and I got Shed Skin. Hell yeah. Shed Skin activate! I wish it would have activated earlier, but, you know, shit, shit happens. He wastes a turn using Stun Spore again. I can survive being paralyzed. That's fine. Oh, except I'm not gonna be because Shed Skin works again. Instant activation! What? What the fuck? What the? Ah! Oh! Alright, cool. See, I actually caught every stage. Did you catch it, or did you evolve it? You're a liar, bro. Don't lie to me, bro. Anyways, friends, this has been Pokemon Clover. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I'm gonna head back to the Pokemon Center. That's where we'll start the next episode, and we can continue further down this path. Hit Mount Moot in the next episode is the plan. Maybe do some exploring. Hopefully I won't need Flash for it, but, uh... All will be unveiled shortly. 
Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. It helps the channel to grow. It encourages me to keep playing this, this weird, strange, pretty awesome, all things considered, Pokemon game. If I don't like the Pokemons, uh, definitely the memes and internet references are something that drags me back in. So, great job to the creators of Pokemon Clover. I'm sorry if I talk harshly about your creations from time to time, but uh, that's how we improve things, isn't it? So if you have a shitty comment, also leave that below, and I'll be sure to let it affect me in some way. <laughs> Anyways, friends, thanks so much for watching once more. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator with Pokemon Clover, and I will see you in the next one, friends. Until then, bye bye One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.